What a piece of shit. Santikins, you're staying dead as well. I'm not fucking rezzing you. It's stupid. Just a stupid waste of fucking time. Alright. We might actually recruit this guy. To replace Santikins. Because we need somebody to clean the base. Santikins was our janitor. Jade, what the fuck is your problem? We haven't even named Jade anybody yet, right? Oh my god. Go tame the hero wolf. Joey. Alright, Joey, you got it. Where are you going? Who's on hunting right now? Okay, we don't need you on hunting. Rossi can just about handle it. Joey, don't you dare. Don't go out there. We're gonna get what's-his-face out here to, to handle this first. Okay, Kermraid. You can drop this. Rossi, you can pick it up. Okay, Rossi, go take him down. Tooth, where are you fucking going? It's not safe out here until this wolf is dead. Rossi, you got nothing better to do, man. Just fucking do it before. This legion of fucking lemmings tries to come out here and s recover this body. Thank Christ for that. Jesus Christ. <laughs> the wolf just had a meal. It's safe. It's never safe. It's never safe. Lenka. How's Lenka doing? We still have unhappy nudity because nothing is being called. Fuck me. They, I mean, these fucking knives and stuff. Jesus Christ. Our, our fucking stockpile is filled with fucking knives. I don't even know if we have... Um, a thing. Oh yeah, we do have the smelter. Maybe we just gotta smelt all these knives up. Oh, we need somewhere else to put them, just for the time being. Where can we put a bunch of knives? <laughs> Where can we get rid of all of these knives? We've got all these, like, old revolvers and guns and stuff too, right? We need to, like, get some bills to melt these down too. Because we can get some steel from it, right? Up my ass, yeah, fuck me. Shove like 20 knives up my ass. Wonder if subscribers is near the street and strangers walk by can hear grown ass men yelling, fuck this game. I wonder, Gendermancer, yeah. It's a uh, good, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's a nice thought, isn't it? That people are like walking their kids to the park and home from school and all they can hear is me just shouting and screaming inside this garage. This fucking game, though, seriously, there's so many things that it does that are that just absolutely destroy my my will to live and my my brain and everything too. Where, like, where did all these potatoes go? Have they blasted through the potatoes and made meals with them, or like, where have they gone? And how come nothing is being replanted? Because Rob XD is too busy cooking, and he's not planting. And there's still no fucking... There's, there's still no fucking meals with two people cooking. There are still none. They cook enough for people to eat that day. That's it. Fuck me. We have none. Oh my god. They must be doing something else. What are they doing? What would they be doing? They're meant to be cooking. Fuck! It's crazy! 
Why aren't they cooking the food? There's two people! Fuck's sake! The growing lamp is not connected. It doesn't matter, they can still plant! No, I'm not okay. I'm not okay. I'm fucking sick of this. We just lost somebody who survived for so long to the dumbest shit I've ever seen. It's driving me crazy. I have no- I've, the, the fuck, the stockpile is just like sapping my will to live as well. Like, what is all this fucking shit in here? Oh, God. And I- this- this fucking- Oh god, it's so annoying. It's so annoying. We need to just set up some shelves for them, I think. Shelves that accept clothes, so that they can just like, swap in and out of clothes, right? But wait, if we start doing that, then they're gonna come in and have this dream sleep. We, we need to just set up another room, like... We need, like, an armory or something. So they have all this unhappy nudity because they won't wear clothes that are on the ground. They have to be in the stockpile first. But then, they've dumped all of their garbage in the stockpile. This is a poor hyperweave toque. See, they've just dumped all of their garbage in the stockpile, right? So I think what we need is... We need a zone. We need a dumping stockpile zone, right? That we're gonna put outside of the base somewhere. Like, maybe I'm thinking over here. Okay, and all we're gonna have in here is... Not food. We're gonna have... Apparel. That's tainted or clean, right? And it's gonna be stuff that is between... Zero and 55% hit points of any quality, okay? So anything that's like getting... That's getting tatty, right? Can go in here. And we're gonna have everything. All the apparel. And this is gonna be on a... Preferred priority. This one is just normal. Okay. Good. At least we can get some of this junk out here and we can just let it rot away, right? Until we can get on top of things a little bit better. Okay, Rob... Okay, Coxian is cooking. Okay, good. He made himself one meal. Rice as well. Nice. So I'm guessing by the amount of meat we have in the, um, in the thing. Okay, go and hunt this timber wolf now as well. We're gonna leave... Rossi here is gonna be on, like, border patrol, okay? He's a medieval lord, and his whole job is to just go out and eliminate threats. We're gonna get him, like, a marine armor and helmet and, uh, some wargs and stuff that he can control, and shit, it's gonna be awesome. Send more than one. Okay, psychic drone low for males. Miss production. Okay, here we go. Alright, let's get this bad boy set up. We'll get this bad boy set up and we can start emptying out some of these graves and stuff too, right? Who's having a major break? Rossi is. He's badly malnourished. I'm not surprised. Coxian makes like a, one meal a day for himself. Like, it's... Don't you dare go to bed. Not when there's like a fucking million meals to be made. 
We gotta feed these people, Coxian. It's not good enough. We gotta burn some of these corpses and stuff, too. I tried to blah 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 blah. Have I tried this? No. Tell me from hauling useless shit into the base and have me cook. You are... Oh, you are! You're on priority one cooking! You shouldn't be hauling, ever, when there's this many meals to cook. You should never be on it. Try to haul meal to the stockpile next to the stove and then cook. It's just dropping it on the floor. You want all of this meat cooked into meals so that everybody can start the day with a nice meal there. You've got to be joking. He's badly malnourished. So, Coxian, this is your fucking fault for just being so shit at cooking. Now we lost the nice armchair that we had here. We had a really good armchair that was made out of plain leather, I think. Well, it's going to have to be reinstalled now. It's me, I'm a bad manager. Man, I have to... I had to manually make you cook meals because you went to bed. How am I a bad manager? I think you're bad, Coxian. Even though you single-handedly made it so that all of this was possible. You really suck at prioritizing cooking the food. Why not make some nice furniture with the leather? Yeah, we're going to. Chem Raid is making this incinerator. This will help us. We'll be able to get rid of this, um, these skeletons in the freezer. <laughs> Got like a snake skeleton? No, a rat and a squirrel skeleton. <laughs> uh, we're missing 28% of Santy Kins' body parts for some reason. But he's on ice. He is, he is fully on ice. So if we could get a serum. There's a bandit camp quest here. Uh, there's three enemies. They're gonna give us a wooden small sculpture, a slate large, a slate large sculpture, and a mega screen television. I don't want to do that. That does not sound like something I want to spend my time doing for those rewards. Up the minimum meals to thirty. Man, it's not gonna help. He's quitting before there's even one meal in the freezer. Like we have none stored. And st okay. Coxian, you're becoming Drop Bear 2.0. Like, this is fucking stupid. He's on a food binge now, and Fleeb has gone berserk. Just change the difficulty. Because I clearly can't cope. Make a Nutri-Paste dispenser. Ugh. Okay. The meals are, are being cooked finally. It's taken some time, but it's finally happening. Alright, is there anything out here that we need to worry about? No, there's not. Let's kill all this small stuff first. And then, and the one lone Ibex doe as well. We'll send Rossi out there to do it. <coughs> How are these guys doing here? 5.5, 20.3. .5, Who's still unhappily nude? Kerm Raid is. Missing some pants. Oh, 
Don't wake up colonists for trivial things that stresses them out and increases the break risk. I wouldn't have to wake them up for trivial things if they just did what they were meant to be doing in the first place, though. Which they don't seem to do, so I have to wake them up sometimes. Okay, so those are the pants all done. Oh, we're actually making stones again, too. Alright, so these this bill, we are going to cremate uh, corpse. This is going to be uh, rotten and fresh non-colonist corpses, right? And that is going to happen um, forever. We're also going to add a bill to cremate corpses, which are animal corpses, but rotten ones. Which we're going to do forever as well. Great. <laughs> sure. We'll set them up a nice chair so that they can they can sit there and cremate the corpses as well, right? Okay, let's start emptying some of these graves then. So we got Kenny, Diva, Semyon and Schroeder. These are all He's getting married. Rob XD has proposed a lifelong commitment to Kerm Raid. Nice. Okay, the marriage is on. They're not actually getting married right now, but it's happening. They, they'll get married at some point. Are you ready yet? Lenka, 4.4. Very close. We self-tamed a muffalo as well. Um, it's a female. Who wants to be a female muffalo? Big Smooth. Big Smooth, you got it. Okay, Big Smooth. Um... Animals, we're gonna put you into the muff zone. And we're gonna train you to be obedient as well and feed you. Hopefully. Hopefully, you don't just die out here in the muff zone. We gotta find us some way of getting them some, um, some stuff, right? Let's waste the time for cooking. Man, we have no meals. We have all of this meat and no meals. It's just, it's crazy. Big Smooth, we might be butchering you at this rate. We have no food, ever. We're at least the useless prisoners. We don't need more colonists. We need people to clean up and haul and stuff. We don't have anybody who's able to clean. Construct, mine, handle. Let's put Kermrade on this instead. I think we'll probably get rid of Fleeb. Okay, we'll release Fleeb. Fleeb can go. Blenka will recruit. Blenka's uh, a good shooter. And we're close to being able to recruit her as well. Okay, Kermraid is having a nice tidy up. Oh my god. We might actually be able to get this prisoner room done after all. Who's having a major break? Joey. Greedy for an impressive bedroom. Observed three corpses was insulted and it's dark out to you. Okay, so this is Penny. Stin. Doc. And Huang. Jet. Paulson. Irma. Not Panda. Vadim. Rajel, John, Maghar, McBlack, Squirrel, Yuma, Magaroski, 
Scorpion. Oh, Accio is ours. Crane. Bishop. Bowman. Sora. Seculos. Wait. Seculos. Is Seculos ours? Bat is on ours. J. Four eyes. Dowie. Seculos ours. This is the end. Burn Jimmy. Yeah, we're gonna burn Jimmy, don't worry. We've got some cargo pods here. With tortoise meat. Ooh. A lot of tortoise meat. Alright. What other wildlife is out here that we can kill for meat? We're gonna have to probably butcher our buffalo. Or hunt these other ones. If they go mad and we lose Rossi, I'll be so mad. <laughs> Coxians. <laughs> I've observed a million corpses. It's all too much for me. Come on, guys. Burn the corpses. Yeah, good. One down. Uh, many more to go. This is nice. Alright, we got rid of the skeletons out of the freezer too. And we're completely out of food again. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, we're out of food. There's a rare thrombos. Alright, Big Smooth. If we don't get something back here soon, it's, it's the chopping board for you. You're dead. You are dead. Lenka. Lenka can go do some hunting too. What about making nutrient paste for the prisoners? Yeah, we could. We're not really at that point yet. I don't have a dispenser set up. And uh, also, we're just completely out of food. Okay, it's just tribals raiding us. Rossi will need to get back here quick though. What's he? Is he hauling something? No, he's not even. Come on, Rossi. Hinge. Comrade can actually shoot. Rob cannot. Joey, can you? You're doing great, Dad. Can't believe we lost Santikins. Can't believe we lost Santikins. Okay, here comes the raid. Kerm raid. You can get down here too, actually. I don't think they're gonna make it through the traps, but just in case there's some weird fuckery. Okay. Are we still throwing bow and arrows on this pile here? We should be, right? A poor steel gladius. I'm just a poor steel gladius. Because Coxian killed most of them. What did he kill? What happened to Santikins? He died. You love how I've set up my base. It's not the best. It's not... It, it's, um, it's screwed us over before. It has screwed us over. Okay, who's our handler? Rossi. Okay, Big Smooth. I'm sorry. We've had to do it. We have no food. The muffalos have migrated as well, so 
We had to do it. Rob XD and Coxian, what the fuck are you guys doing? If not cooking food, you're both on priority one cooking. And they're fucking cleaning toilets and planting, planting fucking flowers and flower pots and stuff. Here you go slaughtering again. It's happening, yeah. Okay, well, we made a couple of meals out of that. Prisoner is ready to recruit. And then we'll give her a decent gun. And hopefully she can kill lots of people. Would be nice. Okay, production. Let's get this electric smelter in here. Power. I know it's really cramped in here, but we'll um, we'll sort it out once we once we expand out a bit more. We'll we'll sort it out. What's Joey actually doing? Does a bit of handling, smithing, tailoring, crafting, hauling, and cleaning. Okay, sure. That's fine. Set basic to two. Rumor goes that microelectronics are almost finished. Colored lights next. No, we need to we need to get an orbital trade beacon and trade for some stuff. Some rats and raccoons here. Oh, it's crazy. We haven't had a raid for a little while. Or wait, didn't we just have one? Not that it matters, because we could have like 10 in a row with Randy Random, but still. Cloth Parka Poor. So we also want to have a stockpile for poor stuff too, right? Because... Anything that's like of poor quality, I think we just want to burn. So we'll add a bill to burn apparel that is awful to poor. So anything that's awful to poor, right? But we don't want marine armor. Shield belt or You're smoke pop great, belts, Dad. and we don't want uh, marine helmets either. Because anything that's like awful and poor, we don't want, and we won't be able to sell it for anything decent either. So we might as well just burn it, save space, right? It's just a matter of time until I scream. Yeah, I know it's coming. We're, we're, we're due a scream soon, I think. So this is Akio, Rigel, Panda, Penny, Jimmy, Dowie, Four Eyes, I don't recognize, Jay, I don't recognize, Bat, I don't recognize, and Siculos, I don't recognize either. So we're gonna see. Seculos, we might have to build a, a thing for, we'll see. Uh, floors in here. A military commissar named Guts has called us from nearby. He's being chased by pirates from the Eaters of Intestines. He begs for safety and offers to join our colony. He tells you he's 40 years old, but there's no time to collect more information. What's a military commissar? No more mouths to feed. Yeah, I think you're 
I think you're right about that. Just have to ignore his ass. We can't afford it. We already have no food. None whatsoever. There's a couple of Ibex rams here though. Well, we might end up eating each other at this rate. Unless we could get these potatoes to grow faster, which doesn't seem likely. And anyway, it's not enough. We need to have, we need more geothermal, and we just need more of these growing areas. We need at least another one, I think. Oh god, we're so low on food. Relying on this wildlife is not the best, is it? He's going to be eaten alive. Why not get him for yourself to eat? Yeah, I suppose, yeah. We're trying to recruit Lenka now as well. He's been a prisoner for quite some time. Okay, Rossi has come back with some meat at least. I love that Coxie and... Oh my god. Oh god. He didn't even eat the meal herself. She just fucking took the meal to the prisoner. Well, at least the prisoner's gonna survive. Everybody else is starving to death. As far as I can tell, Rossi is the only one worthwhile. Coxian's pretty good as well, actually. Major break in Rossi, who hasn't eaten for some time. It's possibly hauling an animal in, but, or not. No animal to be hauled in. Okay, there's a timber wolf out here now that we can hunt down and some other stuff too. There are a couple of meals, actually. He needs to have some time to sort himself out, though. Okay. Another thing that we could think about doing is getting a poker table. We have no cloth. A game of your board. It's exciting yet infuriating board game could be played by one or two people. It trains intellectual skills. Should we put this in here somewhere so that these guys can play or just not bother? I think I need to do some research so that it can make like a chess thing or something. I don't know. Is that, does that come along with something else or what? I don't know what the, what the, what the thing is. Button down shirt, pants, and a parka. Can we make toques? No, we don't have any um, wool. Okay, so here we want to smelt met metal from slag. Here we want to smelt weapons, okay? We want anything that is awful to poor quality. And it could be anything. We're going to do this forever. Okay. And then at least we get resources back from smelting some of this stuff, right? And then anything that can't be smelted, we'll let it... Look at this stuff. We could just chuck it in the river out here, right? Along with these clothes that are just going bad. Okay, microelectronics are done! Oh. oh! Oh, colored lights! I can't do it. We have to set up the other part of the research thing for it first. Okay, are we almost ready to get turrets? Man, I think we're almost ready to get turrets, right? Okay. Turrets has to be something that we get soon. It'd be nice. Okay, there's a whole bunch of elks and stuff out here now, too. So if Rossi can go out there, if we can get Lenka recruited as well, that would be great. 
We're very, very low on food. Ah, but we can get um, we can get a thing here, right? Misc. We want the orbital trade beacon set up in here, and then we want the comms console set up somewhere as well. Where can we set it up? Let's just get it set up out here just for now, and then at least we can maybe hopefully trade with somebody, get some food, or even just some meat would be nice. There's a dead raccoon in the freezer, if anybody wants to eat it. Okay, let's not kill these rats and raccoons. Let's go for the ram and all these elks as well. Because they have more meat, right? The timber wolf is dead. Rossi is pretty good at killing these predators. Eighty-nine percent grown. What uh, what percentage can I harvest potatoes at? Would there be space for the turrets? No, not in the foyer. We'll put them outside, I think. If you're looking to ramp up food production, you could roof off the geothermal and have a plant zone connected to the room. Geothermal exhaust should warm the area for you. Just a thought. I don't know if I can though. Best is rice. One hundred and one percent. Eighty plus. Okay, let's grow rice here now. Let's see if Rob XD can get in here and harvest all this stuff up. Okay, there's a couple of potatoes here. Okay, we're not getting anything harvested out of these at 91%. Or are 45 potatoes and 60. Okay, maybe we were actually. Maybe it was just the adding it all in. Alright, you're gonna have to fucking burn the midnight oil here. The starvation is real. We have to put these potatoes to good use. Okay, that might have saved our bacon. Depends on the skill of the harvester. I guess so. Oh, here's some wool. We can make some tukes with that. That's nice. You think rice is best? Probably quicker, right? Okay, we have a lot of meals now. At least enough to last us for as long as it takes us to harvest up the rest of these potatoes and start growing some rice and stuff, right? Remote is one of those weird games where you start off a run is usually harder than the end. Yeah, the start is hard. We're, it's it's been all, it's been a struggle like all the way through. It's only now that things are just sort of starting to like come together a little bit. We're doing a little bit better. But it's been it's been a rough a rough run. Randy Random is not easy, not at all. Okay, so here we want to um, say for this bill, we want the radius to be like that, and then here we want to say um, chunks steel slag, perfect. So, let's haul whatever's close to here in first. Because there's a bunch of, of it just laying around in our bedrooms and stuff, right? Get it hauled in. And then we can at least start smelting it down, right? We have people who are available to do these types of jobs. Joey's trying to make some toques. Okay, Tooth is smelting down some of these old guns. Some of these bad quality guns. So we should get some steel back from them, right? You haven't seen the second one. Randy Random is a bit more fun because you aren't doomed to have bad events when you progress. 
If you get the garden mod, it adds better lamps that use less power for the same area for growing. It's a bit cheaty though, no? A little bit cheaty? Look at all these potatoes. Potatoes, but no meals, as usual. Oh, Rossi. Well done, you son of a bitch. It's great. Kill these elks. Once you're done with the elks, we'll get you to kill everything else out there, too. We have potatoes for hours. I know, we finally have some potatoes. We're gonna need to get another grow zone set up. We'll prioritize doing that pretty soon. Okay, good. Everybody can go to bed. We need to make a room for Joey as well. I don't know if he's actually affected by, by this. Oh, hang on a second. What's this? Huh. Boys, I've been summoned for lunch. I think I'm lucky. I think I'm lucky. I think I'm getting a hot lunch. And you know what? I need to take a break anyway because holy crap, I've been so angry today. It's, <laughs> it's been nuts. It has been nuts. So, li so listen, I'm going to go have some hot lunch and I'll be back um, uh, soon, okay? I'll, uh, I'll put Terry Cam on for you. I don't think Terry's out, but he's eaten all of his breakfast today. He was super active this morning.